Alright guys, how's it going? This is Rex over here. Welcome back to another episode of my anime studio tutorial series for beginners. And uh, this episode we're going to continue on from last time, which was we had this little animation that we created here. A little waving animation, which you guys just saw. There we go. I'm going to play it. Alright, very nice. So we have that little cute animation on our character, and we want to go ahead and make it into an actual movie that we can share with others and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and go File, and we're going to hit this button that says right here, Export, er, export excuse me, Animation. Now, before I actually get into this little box here, I want to go ahead and hit Cancel and go to File, and just notice that below Export Animation, you also have this option export to YouTube as well as batch export. Now I've not really gotten to batch export so I don't really know what that does however um, I do know that the upload to YouTube um, for the most part, I can, let me go ahead and click this Yes, okay, so pretty much what this does is it exports it right to YouTube, and we're not really going to do that right now though, we're just going to go ahead and manually do this by going to export animation and actually, I don't think we're really ever going to get into the export uh, YouTube option. You guys can go into that if you wish. Um, I believe it's kind of like um, basically how Spore, for those of you guys who play that game, um, does it. I'm not exactly sure. I think I've only exported YouTube once as like a test video, just kind of try it out. And basically, all it does, I believe, is you can kind of name the uh, name the main or bleh, rename the movie uh, to whatever you want. Then it will upload straight to your YouTube channel once you sign in and all that stuff. So pretty much that is how that works. Now let's go ahead and get into this export animation box here. So as you guys can see, right off the bat, we have a start frame and end frame count. So that is a very much like this little start frame and end frame, or rather the frame one of 48. Um, frames boxes down here in that you can specify how many frames the movie will go to and um, however many you specify like here we have one of 48 um, it's starting at frame one and it's going to end at 48 um, it's basically going to render all those frames and make a movie so another easy way to do this is say you have like 200 frames or something all you can go ahead and do instead of typing out you know like 200 frames or looking for which frame you want just go entire animation and uh, it will collect all of your frames in that respect so you guys can go ahead and mess around with that a little bit. It can get a bit annoying sometimes, but, you know, for the most part, hopefully I've done a good enough job of explaining that to you guys, but, you know, just kind of do a little bit of a test um, with that little feature there. Uh, just kind of get a good feel for that, because that is the best way to uh, kind of work with that system. All right, let's go ahead and go down here to the output format. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of outputs that we can use here, and uh, PNG is actually a very nifty output for gaming, because you can actually, once you have an animation, you can export that to multiple images, PNG images, and then go into something like Game Maker and actually put all those images together to make one sprite, one moving sprite. So you can make some really high quality sprites actually to put in your games. Very awesome. Uh, and I'm not going to be going over to the or in or I'm not going to be going over that uh, in this tutorial. However, maybe in future tutorials, actually for sure, future tutorials, I will be going over that. So don't worry about that for now. Though we're just going to go ahead and for now click the AVI movie because that is a fairly standard output for a lot of animation programs and I've of course edited it um, later on to make it more adjustable or not really adjustable but more um, <coughs> excuse me appropriate for you know sites like YouTube and Vimeo and such uh, stuff like that so let's go ahead now and go to the render quality option so render quality options for those of you guys who don't really get what these are quite yet because there are um, or rather, because there are some, uh, I guess, kind of misleading text options here. And, um, you know, for those of you guys who are kind of new to the program, you know, you guys are just kind of get used to this program, you guys really won't know what some of these are. So, basically, the only things I tend to really get into are the render at half frame rate and the render at half dimensions. And basically, all that is, is it's rendering it at uh, half the frames and such that it really is. So, it kind of goes a bit of a um, faster route and when it's exporting, you know, if you don't really care about the quality too much. Um, or not really not the quality, but the detail in the animation. You know, if it's something fast that, you know, you just need for your animation, just go ahead and you can hit render at half frame rate or uh, and or half dimensions. And for now, just because Anime Studio kind of keeps this at standard, the first three boxes checked, um, that's fine. Just keep it how it is there. Um, nothing to really get into as of now for those. So let's go ahead and now that we've got our settings all set up, hit OK. And you can go ahead and pick a location to save it. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it named Test. Hit Save. And actually, no, I already have something already named Test, don't I? Um, let's name it Waving. There we go, and you get this little video compression. Now, what you want to do is click this little down drop button, or this drop down box button thing, whatever you want to refer to it as. And, um, <coughs> 
Excuse me, man, that thing will just not get out of my throat, will it? <clears throat> ah, excuse me, <laughs> I apologize. Alright, but um, what you want to go ahead and do is, if it's not clicked already, or rather chosen already, go ahead and choose full frames uncompressed. Alright, and none of this stuff will become available because full frames of compressed doesn't unlock any of these options, which it really doesn't need to anyway, so for now just go ahead and hit OK, and you'll get this nice little box rendering your animation each one of the frames. And because this is a fairly quick animation, you just get that very quick, nice render, and there we go. That is our little animation. It is going a little bit slower, like from the uh, some of the frame rate. Wow, that was some gibberish right there. X <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right, but anyway, that is our animation, guys. And uh, yes, the frame rate's kind of going a little bit slower because I'm recording at the same time. But for you guys, it shouldn't be as slow. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much how to render animations in uh, Anime Studio. And, you know, this works for advanced animations that will, uh, uh, as well. Excuse me, jeez. Do not know what's going on today. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. That is a very good system for exporting um, any kind of animation. So, just keep that in mind, and uh, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Or rather, this part of this tutorial series thing. So, uh, anyway, guys, this has been Rex Furry. Thanks for watching. I apologize for the stutter, rambling kind of things. I don't know what's wrong with me today. What's wrong with me today? Uh, I'm losing it. So, <laughs> better end it Well, things are semi-good. So, feel free to comment and rate on this video, as well as subscribe to my channel if you feel like it for upcoming updates and future videos like this one and others. And until next video, guys, this has been Rex Furry, and I will see you all <laughs> next video.